How are you doing? Good morning. Welcome. Uh, once again, my name is Mr. Woodford. Very happy to have you. If you're joining me with Math 7 or Math 8, very happy that you're being a part of our class. Now, today is day two of the school year. What I want to do is start off with you looking at the bell work. Now, bell work is something that you do right away when the bell rings. You work on it for five minutes max. For today's bell work, however, I want you to be in the build and create your own routine. So yes, I'm going to give you that five minutes. I know it's not a lot of time, but we will revisit this worksheet at the end of the period. So right now, this is what we're doing. Let me share my screen with you. So that way you, we are all on the same page. So you should be looking at, welcome to the second day of school. Once again, my name is Mr. Woodford. Also, our teacher is also Mr. Oaken. And what I want you to begin to work on today is I want you to work on this creating daily routines worksheet. Okay? I, it's, it's good to build habits. Aristotle said, well, we, uh, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. If we are to be successful this year, if we are to build up excellence in our routine, we have to make it a habit. We have to have it in a routine. So look at your schedule. I know if you're, and this is really for the people that are at home. This is, I mean, we're all at home at one point or another. So I want you to build your routine. And you're thinking, okay, when I'm home, when I'm, in, I'm not in class, what am I doing at eight o'clock? Maybe you have a 40 minute session with Mr. Warford. Maybe you're in my period one, put it there. For all the way up until two o'clock, all of these should be uh, your normal schedule that you would do in school, really. When it has lunch, maybe you should write down some lunch. When you might have gym, maybe you can go for a run outside, right? You might want to write down these key hits uh, up to that point. Once you get to 3 o'clock, 3 and 4, uh, think about what can you do. Maybe you could do something a little bit different at, at home while you're there. Maybe it's time for you to take a break. Maybe you can play a game real quick or something. But I want you to build your, your routine. Create a routine for yourself that can help you, right? This is your bell work. So in the first five minutes, you should be working on this. Now, while you're working on that, right, uh, well, well, you can either finish it right now, pause the video, video or what I want to go over is this. What, I gave you a homework assignment yesterday, and that was to uh, get your... Um, your your uh, the syllabus slash class covenant signed by you, by your parents, and then you need to upload it, right? I know the biggest question that you're probably having is, well, Miss Wilford, how do I do that? How do I do that? So I'm going to go over the rest of this class procedures today. Before I do that, right here in the beginning, I want to go over how do you upload an assignment? I will go over it again in another video, but I think being a second day, it's important that way you can start to understand a little bit of the process. I'm going to share my phone screen with you. Why? Because if you have a phone, what I would recommend you do is download the Google Classroom app. Also, I would recommend you download the Google Meet app. So that way, while you're at, if, if you're using a laptop, then yeah, it's easy to go to Google Meet and get on there. Or it's easy to go to classroom.google.com and go to Google Classroom, right? But if you want to be able to upload assignments with ease, I would recommend using your phone because you could take a picture of the assignment that you completed, whether it was on paper, or you could use your phone to edit the document. Can you edit the document also on Google Classroom on your laptop? Yes, you can. But I want to show you a way to do it on your phone. And then there's also a way to do it also on your computer. I'm going to show you the way to do it on a computer later. But today, I feel I want to start to show you how to do it on your phone. So if you follow with me, I'm going to share my phone screen with you. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm, on, I'm going to actually log in as if I was a student. OK? I'm going to log in as if I was a student. So you can see this is my screen, right? It's asking me to trust my laptop. I do trust it, okay? Now, when you log in, this is a teacher login, so you can see all my teacher classes here. However, when you log in, let me just hit this picture. I'm gonna add another account. Now, I'm gonna log in with um, a, a student of mine, right? Jada, who's in my first period class. And everybody has the same sign-in. It's your ID number, your last name, at centralized.k12.newyork.us. Your password, however, is the year you were born, okay? So for the sake of me logging in, um, I'm, I'm not going to put a password in. But you notice, did it ask for the password yet? No, it took me to Microsoft. Keep in mind that our Google account at the school is linked to Microsoft. So it's going to link you back to Microsoft in order for you to log in. So I'm going to have to type in, once again, her, um, her email, oh, sorry, ID number, 
last name, and make sure you type the last name correctly, as Central Islip k 12nyus Okay, so now we now we have that. Now notice it says Central Islip School District. Yes, that's the district that we're in. And now it's asking for your password. Now keep in mind, this is after I already downloaded the app of Google Classroom. Now I'm just logging into the app itself on my phone. First, I went to go and log in, add an account. Then from there, I, I typed it in. It sent me to Microsoft. Now it sent me to the organization's page. And now it asks for the actual password. Remember, password. And I'm going to stop sharing here only because I don't want you to see her full um, information. But the password is the year you were born, the two-digit month you were born, and the day you was born. Okay? All right? Now that I'm in, I want to share my screen again with you so you can see it, okay? All right. I got to keep trusting it. That way it'll show. All right. So now I, after I put the password in, this is what it showed me. It says stay saved in. Um, just to reduce the number of times I actually sign in. I'm going to say no because I really don't want to stay saved in. Um, I don't want to say signed in as, as Jada. Uh, but I do want to show you now as an example. So this is all Jada's class. You can see that um, most of our teachers have put up their stuff. Um, and I'm going to go down to my class. All right. Math 7, period 1. When I click on it, you notice that immediately she's in the stream. Right? She's in the stream. She sees some of the posts that I put up recently. Um, this is the materials, materials, uh, the question that she needs to answer, and then the new assignment, Classroom Covenant. Now, that's an assignment. The question needs to click on, and she needs to answer it, right? She can put her comment right here. Uh, but the assignment, when she clicks on it, oh, matter of fact, these are all in the stream. So if you click on that in the stream, the comment section, it's like as if you had a question on it. If you click on, if you click on classwork, let's go to there for a second. If you click on classwork, it'll pop up all the stuff that we just seen that was on the stream, except here, you'll see that there's the bookmark one at the bottom, a question mark right here, and you'll see also um, classroom covenant signatures, okay? That's for the sake of it. Let's click on classroom covenant signatures because I want to show you how do we upload assignments? How do we, how do we put our assignments in here? Right? I, I gave you a packet. You're always gonna get a packet on every single unit. And if you wanna do the packet by hand and then take a picture of it and upload it, I'm gonna show you that. If you're like, well, Mr. Wilford, I'm, I'm okay with just doing it. Can I just do it on the actual laptop or on the, on, the, on the phone? Yes, you can do that as well. Let me show you. So I would click this arrow. The arrow would pop up. You would see this work, this PDF. Now, why is there a PDF here? The reason why there's a PDF here is because I gave everybody a chance to have their own worksheet, a PDF version of this worksheet, right? If you wanted um, a Google Classroom version, I, a, a Google Docs version on other assignments, I will give you the Google Docs as well for your own. But in this case, I gave the PDF. I want to show you two ways to do this. If you want to edit the PDF that I've given you, click on the PDF. It's going to pop up. It's going to go through the Classroom Covenant page. And then it's going to ask you for the information there. If you want to fill in that information, right, you can zoom in with your phone and use the actual two hands kind of thing to zoom in. And then there's like a pencil at the top. And if you click on the pencil, it's going to bring you to a place now you can edit this document. Now, keep in mind, once you start to write, it'll start to write, right? There's an eraser at the bottom for you to get rid of it. There's a selection bar for you to go and select something. I would click hit selection, click the arrow so you can go over. Now what I would do is I would actually hit the A underline button. And why am I hitting that? Because now I can just type in stuff. I can type in my name. In this case, I'm going to say Jada Jackson, right? I'm going to type in uh, another uh, a signature. Maybe I can, I can do my signature here. But however I'm doing my signature, I might want to use the pen and just type in do, 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 right? Put my signature there. My parents' information, I would go down and hit the A, and I would just keep typing and clicking them in. Now, after I did that, I would hit save. Now, it's saving the specific document here. But as it's saving the document, now it's going to be somewhat there, right? Document saved. So if I scroll up now, uh oh, let me see. It should be here, but it's not. So let's go out for a second. Let's hit it again. 
Ta-da, okay? You'll see that what I typed in is now saved, right? So when you, if you decide to edit it like this on here, you can do it that way. But what if you're not that tech savvy? Maybe you're not that comfortable with, with doing it online like this, right? Maybe you're more comfortable with just doing it on paper and then uploading the picture. No problem. Let me show you how that would be done. So for the sake of it, I have um, a, 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 a worksheet here that I was putting some answers on for math problems. Let me show you. What I would do here is this. So I want to just edit. I'm going to edit this document again just so in case when, when um, Jada decides to sign in, she doesn't see all my scribbles. I'm going to erase this. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can get rid of it. Hmm. No, I don't think it's going to let me get rid of it here. So, let me see if there's another way for me to do it. Sorry, Jada. This is, this is the benefit of me using yours. And now I got it. It's gone all together. I'm so sorry, Jada. <laughs> I'm gonna add a new one for you, Jada, don't worry. That way you'll have it there, that way you can edit the document as planned. Now, if I wanna I want to show you another way to do it in case that you just wanna take a picture of it and upload it. You can hit add attachment. You can put, use your camera. You could use pick a photo. You can hit drive, you can hit uh, any of these things. I'm gonna hit use camera. When I use camera, you'll see it's ready to take a picture of whatever I have in front of it. So if you wanna just take a picture of your assignments, take a photo, and then use that photo and upload it. It'll start uploading that photo here. And then once the photo is up uh, uploaded, you'll have your assignment done. So there's two ways to do this assignment. You can either manually edit the PDF or you can take a picture and upload it. And that's the reason I'm giving you packets to go with everything, okay? So I just wanted to show you this shortcut of way of doing it. So that way everybody was on the same page, okay? Now you'll see that her picture is uploaded here and I can look at it, see exactly what the picture was to check to make sure it makes sense. Now, of course, I'm gonna get rid of that for you, Jada, and I'm going to reattach the original file I was gonna give you, okay? Okay, so now I'm just reattaching the file, so that way when, oh, nope, that's not it. Since I'm in yours, I may not be able to get to it, but I'm definitely going to do it later. So now this is back up. Now, Jada, this is still here. I apologize. I know that may not be your signature. Please forgive me. If you want to just put your signature off to the side and then fill the rest of the information, I would be greatly appreciated, okay? All right, so that's how you would do that. And I just wanted to show you that because I believe it's important for you to start to understand how to complete assignments. Um, and upload them using your, your phone or, or even uh, taking pictures or just editing a PDF, okay? What I'm going to do today is this. You have time to finish the rest of this creating daily routines later on. Now, if you're in class, you obviously didn't hear that last spiel because I'm not doing that in class with you. But for those online, that was special for you as well as just getting you a chance to download Google Classroom as well as um, see how to upload assignments. We need to make sure you have calculators okay there are these calculators are ti 30x right um uh and they're like uh they're not that expensive they're under 20 bucks you can buy them at walmart um and they're really good calculators a binder because if i'm giving you packets i want you to stay organized and always bring pencils and, and and highlighters to work with i'll try to have extras every single day but it's best for you to bring your own as well right follow the rules the first time they're given raise your hand for permission to speak raise your hand for permission to leave your seat do not touch anyone right? We're not cursing. We're not using profanity. We're following the rules. We're being great students as we're in this class. That way we can all reach success, okay? Log in daily if you're on Google, uh, when you're on, uh, log in daily to Google Classroom so you can see what's going on, not just in Mr. Workforce class, but for all the rest of your class as well. When you go to Google Meet, make sure you're in, pay attention, don't cause a distraction for other students. You don't need to type your name anymore. I have an app that I added on to Google Meet where it will type your name for you. Ask questions if you need to. 
right? You can type in questions on the stream area of Google Classroom, or if you had a question while it was a live session, feel free to type in your question in the chat box. I'll try to look at those regularly. Responses should be respectful, and of course, no cursing or profanity. Even if you are at home, even if that is how, it ha how you behave at home, we don't behave that way in class, and even if you're on the live. Behavior. So if I have to give you a warning, that's, that's going to be your first, your first understanding that, okay, I had to talk to you. I had to pull you to the side. The next thing will be a 15-minute uh, detention. Now, this is going to look a little bit different, our behavior plans. I have to figure them out, but I do know what I doubt. By step four, you will be getting referrals. Um, and by step four, I'll also be calling home and I'll be having the communication. That's if I have to warn you so many times. Okay, so I'll try to figure out a better dis discipline plan that will also be tolerable when you're online. But for if you're in class, we're going to have warnings, 15 minutes of some type of detention, or maybe just straight to the detention that they have after school with Mr. Barr and Mr. Nemes. Okay, so let's go over grading policy. Now, this is important. Participation is 35% of your grade. It's big because it's not only participation, but it's also your attendance. It's you regularly attending. I get it. Being responsible for your education while you're home, it is it's a big deal. To wake up and realize, oh, I'm online today and be on time and be consistent. I want to award the students for being on time. I want to award you for taking responsibility of your education to say, you know, I want to get to class because this is not college. This is not high school. And this is literally to a place where I want to be able to create an atmosphere of encouragement behind you doing what you need to do. So 35% will be participation. 25% between homeworks, uploading assignments, doing that stuff. 20% for tests and quizzes. And of course, 20% for your quarterly. You'll be giving homework three days a week. That's ideally. When I say three days a week, I mean three uploading assignments that you have to do. Of course, there will be Delta math assignments every two weeks, right? So I would recommend every two weeks, you get used to seeing a Delta math assignment or go on before Delta math is due and complete it before the deadline. There are deadlines on Delta math. And if you miss the deadlines, you will get a low grade, okay? Now, in addition to that, you will occasionally see some Envision assignments where you click on it, it takes you to a new portal and you complete it right there and it will give you your grade on those. Those are for our tests and quizzes, projects, stuff like that is gonna be on another platform called Envision, okay? Quiz procedures is actually, I originally was thinking about using a Google form, but however, because like I just learned about this new technology of Envision, I'm going to use Envision to allow us to do tests and quizzes through there. Um, I believe there's a time limit on them. Um, you don't have to log in. You literally just have to log into your Google Classroom, which you'll see the actual link that'll take you to the quiz. You just click on it, complete the quiz, and when you're done, I will be notified. You'll be notified of what you got as well, okay? Um, Responsibilities, log into Google Classroom regularly, okay? Also log into Google Meet regularly. If I have an announcement to give you or something that's changing, I will be trying to reach out to you to do the Remind app. Uh, the Remind app, I have the codes for them. I will give them to you later on, uh, on our technology there. We're gonna have to play around with technology. But um, what I want you to do is get accustomed to um, logging in regularly, um, practicing, communicating with me if you need to, if you have questions, um, as well as even practice logging into, logging into Delta Map, okay? These are all important links and, 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 and software that we're going to be using this year that will help you become successful, okay? So right now, we're going to end the second day. And what I, what I mean by ending it is I want you to finish working on your Creating Routines worksheet. Finish working on your Creating Routines worksheet. Be able to... Um, uh, you know, fill it all out and then try to see if you can upload it today. See if you can upload it. If you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to me. I will gladly help you. This is not the first or last time I'm going to mention how to do it, but I want you to be able to take a second to see. If you need to pause the video, go back to the beginning, watch that chunk between the time where I talked about, um, when I talked about uploading it, please do it again. That's fine. Watch it again. Um, but I want you to have a great day today. Have a great day in school. We're going to build routines to be successful. We're going to begin to shape how we do our classroom, and, and I want you to be as best as you can, okay? Thank you so much for joining me once again. I look forward to talking to you more. See you tomorrow.